but I know you also work for Accelera. So maybe do you have some insights on how uh, the React Native part of uh, coding or a software engineering job goes? Or yeah, we have uh, a a little challenge for people. It's actually just a regular React uh, project, not React Native, because it would be a bit uh, hard. To, to ask them to like set up all the environment if they don't have it. Mm. And we also do websites. But uh, what, what we do applies uh, also to React Native, which is we ask them to, it's mostly like a little CSS challenge. And they are like asked to use Flexbox uh, to implement their layout. And uh, then there's also like some events like uh, moving a card in, into a different area, kind of like a, a small Trello thing, uh, not yeah. without all the dragging and, and dropping, but uh, with uh, like clicking to move an, a card around. Okay. And I think that applies pretty well to, to React Native. I wouldn't, I mean, if you think about what would be a good interview question for React Native, we should rule out, like, of course, you cannot do, like, the classic Google interview, all the algorithm questions mm -hmm. about about trees and the algorithm, algorithm and stuff. That, I think, is completely irrelevant for React Native. Yes, you should absolutely. Um, rule this out. Yeah, I think the it's more about, yeah, no, also, I completely agree. Um, what you know you want to yeah obviously you want people to understand how the, i mean this programming the programming model essentially right this component based programming model how do you do composition uh, in react native so we used to do components with class how did we do composition back then now with hooks how does it work right if you understand how also yeah <clears throat> components work with um, side effects and uh, states I don't know if you saw the latest uh, Ben Awards video, but uh, he made uh, another YouTuber pass uh, front-end uh, interview questions. And um, I think the, so the guy he was interviewing was, I guess, not supposed to be very good at front-end. So he did, in that regard, he did extremely well. And then the interesting part in the whole uh, uh, interview was when at some point he has to use use effect and then you had the yeslin plugin which was asking about the dependencies of of uh, the hook and then basically you know you want to see if your interviewee has a sense of what it means what uh, what is going on why do you need to set this dependency what does it mean what happens so first render then you do the side effect what happens second render and so on and uh, what happens when um, um, if you don't set these dependencies and so on and actually like Ben Awad I think uh, explained it pretty pretty well because so at some point they didn't have the right dependencies and so you would have um, um, so the, the a function that would be recreated every time and you would only capture the first version but it didn't matter because it would still work anyways but obviously there are some cases where uh, this wouldn't work. So I thought it was uh, pretty pretty interesting. But I guess my, my point is really focus on the big picture, the principles, and then you'll be fine. I mean, things are evolving anyways, right? We used to do components with class. Now we use hook. So to me, it doesn't really make sense to niche down or to be looking for the really implementation-specific details because it doesn't matter and these change very fast. What is interesting is you, if you understand the principles that are behind yeah, I totally agree. Like, what what I would be looking for is someone who understands the the things that never change, no matter how we move. So it's like the principles of of JavaScript. Like, you know how to do some fetching, ma data manipulation, dot map, dot filter. This you will use in ten years, I'm for sure. And like the the ideas of React that are also unlikely to change, even in future versions. Yeah, or even uh, beyond the React library itself. When I started React development, people, they were asking me, my friends, my software engineering friends, they were asking, oh, you're doing this React. Is it uh, here to stay? They were asking me questions about the trend and so on. 
And it's funny because for me, it's like, even if React uh, disappears, I mean, it will be here forever because what it has contributed in terms of the component programming model and the, the type system that goes with it and everything, this will stay and has already inspired other technologies dramatically. And again, this is why I think you should focus on principle. React was also obviously inspired from, and they mentioned it in the original announcement of React, from you know techniques in database technologies, in graphics. So obviously everything always builds on top of each other. Ben Awad did this uh, video and then he was interviewed so on the channel, on the other channel where it was more like a, a traditional algorithm question, he had to uh, reverse uh, link list and then reverse, uh, invert a binary tree. And I actually thought it was pretty interesting to, to watch because, you know, it was, I think it's really how you should, so I think they did the recording, so it, you could argue it was under the same amount of pressure that if he was doing a regular interview because you want to do well. And what I really enjoyed, I mean, if the, he gets asked the question and he knows the answer, I mean, for us, that's boring to watch because then he says, okay, that's how you do it. Uh, here, what was interesting, or if, you know, he doesn't know the answer, but then he can think his way through a solution immediately. Again, it's not very interesting for us. What was interesting is that he didn't know the answer and he just really worked through it and really writing down. So input, output, doing a general case, and then niching down on the edge cases kind of to get to the uh, general solution. And I thought it was pretty inspiring because that's really everything you should take away for preparing for an interview. Of course, easier said than done, right? Stay calm and really just not trying to, if you don't know the answer, don't panic, just work your way through step by step. And also don't um, be afraid to look foolish if you start like really silly. I mean, at the beginning, you could argue, you know, like clearly, you know, if, even if you don't know the answer, I think that's okay because then you can really work your, your way through to an answer. So actually, I thought uh, was pretty inspiring for, for people who, who wants to get to Google or to Fang. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty interesting. I think like one one trait that is is like not that easily like measurable or it's not like a question that you can give an answer to is like just this general problem solving ability um, that you will get with experience as you build more things, as you have been through more severe bugs and uh, bug solving sessions. And so what I would also ask on an uh, interview is what is to like show a, a recent project and to ask, um, yeah, what, what interesting challenges have you solved in there? Mm. Which, I mean, if you have that, then under some circumstances, you don't even need an interview. You, you can already tell beforehand, wow, this person is, is great and we can hire it. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I think, I don't know, but maybe interviewers and interviewee will let us know in the comments. But also, you know, you could interview a view developer, on ang an Angular developer for a React position. And, you know, okay, you're doing view. Tell me how, you know, how do you do side effects? How do you manage states? how it works and then trying to map uh, the concepts. I'm thinking, you know, I think if you have maybe um, someone you're trying to test the skills in React, so you get a sense if he understands the programming model and how things work. Then if you interview someone who obviously, you know, you have Ben Award in front of you, you know, obviously he knows better <laughs> than you. Uh, what I would uh, ask him is more about the limitations. Okay, tell me about, because I think for your company, it's super important if you have a, an engineer that not only is very good at React, but understands the, the limitations and how far you can go with it and the, the edges of the technology. That can be a, a tremendous uh, benefit for your project and potentially also the um, 
economical footprint of your project. And um, so, you know, if uh, in an interview, if I had a really experienced React or React Native developer in front of me, I would more like trying to to see if uh, he has a sense for the, the edges of the, of the technology, essentially. Yeah, right. These are like the things that it's it's hard to like even to even like phrase uh, a specific question to that. It's not just like okay, you can tell me what is zero plus one plus zero plus two in in JavaScript. The, I mean, this is like the the underlying thing, but I I feel like there's like a kind of sixth sense that you develop uh, when 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 you are like qualified for a job uh, that you 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 feel about what's the right solution mm. right and um i i would hire ben avad immediately even though i've i've haven't really paid close attention to his code or i don't don't know what he would answer to my questions something just tells me well this person is really capable <laughs> and um you know, speaking of uh, principles and everything, so to me, React Native, beyond the technology itself and how things are implemented, this is a technology that, has a, to me, has a tremendous impact on what it means uh, in terms of economical terms to build an app. And I think also it's something, as an, if I were to be an interviewer, I would try to gauge, you know, if... Uh, the interviewee has a sense of, you know, more of the big picture and why, you know, potentially it can be a, a dramatic, why React Native is a, can be potentially a dramatic uh, change in how much it costs to build an app, but also what are also the drawback of, uh, of such a uh, choice. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm being aware of the mission, what the company is trying to achieve can be very valuable. Then you know, okay, which bugs are like really important to handle, which edge cases are really mission critical and uh, on, in, in which edges it's uh, okay to not put in as much effort. You know which parts to optimize more um, given if, if you know much more about like if it's just a startup and you need to move fast or if it's like some, some place where it's going really slow, if you are well aware of that, then you also know which part to optimize and like push a few pixels uh, the most. So that's extra bonus points. If you are a, if you as a programmer are aware, wow, this is our goal. We want this product at this time at this this price. Of course, there are some unreasonable people, but if you assume that everything is reasonable, that if you are aware, then and you make the right decisions based on that, that's also a great quality for a programmer to have. 